How's it going everyone? So I've been asked to make this video a bunch of times, so here it is. And uh, I'd like to say thanks to everybody subscribe to my channel and check out my website and my books and app and all that crap. So, how to get your bike on a rear stand by yourself. So the first thing, get yourself a rear stand and you need to figure out does your bike have a spot for spools that you kind of screw into the frame or does it not? So for example, I want to demonstrate this on all three of my bikes. So this bike, there's no like little place to screw in a spool like you would use for the stand right here, kind of like hooks onto it. So the way this is, it wouldn't work. Like nothing's gonna hook up to it. You see what I'm saying? But if I, if I have the hooks like this, but if you come over here and look at the Kawasaki, these are little spools I'm talking about. So they screw directly in like that. And then when I put it on the stand, that's what it hooks up to, right? So I'll show you that in a second. So first, figure out what you have. So the cool thing about these stands, so this one doesn't have any spools. So all you need to do is you just unscrew these two things and you flip it around. So you're using the rubber part to go underneath the frame like this. These are the exact same stands. So as you can see, it's the same thing. So on this side, now I'm using the rubber part to go underneath the frame right here. And on this one, it's flipped around so I can use the spool, the little bracket thing for there. So that's first, figure out what side you need spools or just the frame. The next thing I always do is I measure it like this. So I don't try to put it up or do anything. I just make sure I need to get the right width of how, how far I put these things apart. Cause you can see, I can loosen this up. I can loosen it up. I can bring it forward, backwards. It all depends on how wide the frame is. And of course I want it to be the right frame width. So before I even try to do anything with the bike, I take it like this. So the first, I would, I would like loosen these up so they're like hand tight, not, not too tight, right? Just a little bit, just so they don't go anywhere. And I put it underneath here right then. I just kind of measure, like I look on both sides, like, okay, right there, it would go underneath the frame. Enough of it would go underneath the frame so it won't fall over. And once I know it's like that, I tighten them down so they're not going anywhere. And this is what I always do. So I know it's the right width. So what I do, so I usually put, I make sure the bike is in first gear. That's just a safety way. You could put the bike in neutral, all three of my bikes are in neutral, but you can do it in first gear as well. Handlebars turned all the way to the left, handlebars straight, handlebars to the right. I never found that to matter. If you have a preference, like maybe you turn them all the way to the left when you're trying this. Whatever you want to do is the right way to do it. As long as you can get it on without it falling over on you and get it back off, that's the right way. There's probably a thousand ways to do this. So just like I did, <laughs> I just naturally do that. I put my foot on the actual tire. Next thing, I just grab something in the back. On the back of this bike, I have a nice big cage with a bar right here. On the other bikes, I don't have this, so I'll show you what I do for that. So I grab the cage, bring this up here. So first I bring it upright. You have to be comfortable with the bike being straight upright. And even when it's straight upright, not even with my finger, I'm just holding onto the bike with two fingers. Every bike balances straight up and down. So you gotta get the bike upright first. Hold on to it. I put my foot right there so it doesn't fly anywhere roll anywhere, I mean. Bike is perfectly upright. I put this under there. I make sure it's even on both sides. I kind of use my shin to kind of make sure it's nice and even. And I hold on to the bike and make sure it's good. And I just push straight down. And before I walk away, I just double check. I really look in there and make sure the whole rubber piece is underneath the frame. So it's not gonna go anywhere. I turn the handlebar straight just to make it more stable. And now I'm good. Now I clean the chain, I clean the bike, I do whatever maintenance I need to get done, and it's all good. So that's why you measure it first with the off and just make sure these things are nice and tight. So that way, before I used to just hand tighten it and I go to put underneath there and it would slip and it would move. And I'm like, oh crap, and then it get all jacked up again. So once you know it's the right width, tighten those things down pretty good so you're good. So now I'm on the bike, I'm doing everything I need to do, how to get it back off the stand. It's the exact same process, just reversed. Hold on to it really good. Handlebar straight, turned over to the side, it doesn't matter. Make sure your kickstand is down. <laughs> cause it's not gonna fall this way cause you're on this side. So you're pretty much gonna take it down and like push it onto the kickstand pretty much. I always do this. I just give a little tap, make sure it's all the way forward. Again, pull onto the bike. Now there's no rush to do this. So you'll see, I'll, I'll kind of lower it down. Once it gets on the tire, I'll start giving pressure and pushing it back on the kickstand. So I ease it up nice and slow. Once the tire's on the ground, okay, I'm good. Start pushing on the kickstand. It's on the kickstand, and go anywhere, and then I kind of take, take it back out of there. 
So there's that. So let me try it now with the Z. Way heavier bike, right? So now I do the same thing. When I first got this bike, I'm like, okay, I need to figure out how wide it is. So I did the same process. I loosened these two bolts up. First, I just put it underneath here and just get the width right. So right there, just one wheel is down. Come over here and look at this angle. The bike's leaning on the kickstand, right? So it's just, I just make sure the angle is right. So like, okay, I got that one on there, but the, this one's too loose. I could loosen this up, move it forward and back. Just make sure the width is real good. And I want it to be even, you know what I mean? Like on this side, it's pretty much even. I didn't measure it, but I don't want this side to be like way over here and this side be the opposite. I want them to be pretty much even on both sides. So it's close enough. So that's the first thing I do. Just put it the frame, got these spools on there. So it's on that spool, it's on that spool. Now I'm sure if you could, if you really wanted to, you could kind of just stand the bike up right now and automatically put it on there, but I don't do it that way. I do it the way I do it for every other bike. But I know it's the right thing now, crank those nuts down so it's not gonna go anywhere. So I just do the same process. So now you're on this side so you can see it from this angle. You're good. But you saw from that side before. So on the bike, I don't have much to hang on to, but I do have a strap for the seat so I can hold on to the strap because that's a pretty good uh, access point, right? Again, hold on to the rear tire. All the bikes are neutral. You can keep it in first if you want to, whatever works for you. I'm gonna pull the bike up straight up and down. I have this close. This one's a little bit heavier, so I pull the bike up. It's straight up and it's balanced, right? Again, just two fingers, one finger holding on to it. It's balanced. Hold on to something good. Got the tire right there, a nice wide stance, so I'm all good. Now with the stand, I kind of fish underneath here nice and easy. There you go, it's on the hook, it's on the hook. And this is why I always make sure it's actually on the hook. It's not halfway on the hook, it's not anything else. So come over here and look, get a little bit closer. So while it's just sitting here, the bike is strapping down, I really make sure that thing is in there. Cause I don't want it falling down on my side, like on my leg or falling over that way. I got the kickstand and everything, but I just make sure it's really good. Once it's really good, I don't try to do anything with the bike. Again, with my left hand, I just push straight down. Once it's down, I make sure it's all good. Okay, straighten the handlebars up, it's all good. Whatever type of maintenance I wanna do, I wanna clean the chain, clean the bike, everything's all good. Now I wanna take it back off. Same thing, reverse order. First step I always do, because sometimes when I'm cleaning it, I clean it all down underneath here, I move this up and down, I clean it, I clean it, so, I'm, so it might not be down. So I'll always make sure, double check that thing is forward. Come back around, hold on to the same point. Everything's all good. Bring the bike up slowly. I lift this up slowly, which is bring the bike down. Slow, 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 there's no rush. Tire gets on the ground, I start pushing it onto the kickstand. That's all good. I take it back up. So now it just randomly worked out like this. So this stand with the spools is now only for this bike. And this stand over here, again, this is just randomly worked out. This stand I got for this bike and the width is the same, right? I, I locked it down. And just so happens that the same width is perfect for Skittles, for the track bike. So check it out. Now I got the track bike, I do the exact same thing. First I just put up underneath there. Okay, there's the frame, there's the frame, that's all good. So unlike the Z, as you can see down here, there's no spot to screw anything in for the spools. This thing right here was for my chain guard, but I took that off, so that's not, that's not a spool thing. There's nothing on this side. So because there's no spools, I need to use the mounts itself to go under the frame. So I put it underneath here, and look at that. Lo and behold, it's the exact same width. So now this one stand works for both of these bikes. So the same thing, I make sure it's all good. It's gonna be underneath there, perfect. Put that down, now there's really nothing to hang on to. I don't have the little strap. I don't have a big cage to hold on to, I have nothing. So now I just grab the bike itself, and you may have to do this. Again, foot on the tire, hold on to the bike, bring it upright. This bike's the lightest out of all three of them because it's just a track bike, right? All the fairings and everything off. Hold on to something. I guess I could put my hand in there, but just hold on to the bike. It don't really matter where it is, wherever you feel most comfortable. Bike is upright. Put this underneath there. Now, one thing to look on whenever you do this, if you do it underneath the stand, if I put it right here, that red piece, this red piece right here, it may hit the bolt. So make sure you go forward enough to where it's gonna clear the bolt. It just make sure you're not gonna hit anything on either side. So there you go, there's that. I make sure it's actually underneath the frame on both sides, pretty even. Once it's all good, hold on to the bike and I just push straight down. 
before I go anywhere, I really make sure it's underneath the frame. Handlebar's good. Clean the chain, do whatever. Everything's all good. Give that little kick, make sure it's all the way forward. Take it back down, do the same thing. Hold on to the bike. Lift it up, nice and slow, there's no rush. Nice and easy. Put it down, once I feel the tire on the ground, I'm starting to push. Get that thing over, go on the kickstand, go on the kickstand, there you go. And bring it back out. And there we go, that's how you put a bike onto and take it off the rear stand all by yourself. Thanks for watching.